I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon and to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Fuck you! Long as you know that ain't the way to the fort. Sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? <laughs> Time to steal my kitchen. <laughs> out here you ain't gonna land a single hit just gonna embarrass yourself trying these mutts no wonder they shut up ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Mm. No grappling up that way. 
Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Block than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Go! Oh! Now. On it! Turn it! Copy that! We gotta have a full stop at one. Ah, promising. Hey! I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Once more. Again. Got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. I think they seen us. Oh, they're up there! Finally! Now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? 
No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp, stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the thing. <laughs> Hang on. I smell trouble. creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never have it, said a two on the coup. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? It does Shut not up. work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Jeez, this place ain't some disrespectful. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does... There's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. <laughs> Bay's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb dropped. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. I finally get to show the lady who we are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? 
Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Vrater almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. 
It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! It is the first weapon a Spartan learned. What well, hell? Ain't this just like old times then? I couldn't just put it more forebodingly myself. That gun found a patch on high. what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up ahead.
whole city out here. <laughs> bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better feed them out. Find your brother! Waste on you, ladder part! Whenever you want to die, I'm right here! Hey, good eye! That'll get you right up there. Spear must be talking to yourself. Figuring stuff out faster than I can teach. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. It's all about the proper angle with those puppies. You want it straight on. I'm telling you, you're too far to decide. Whoa, you sure you ain't done this before? See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever you need. What of these old children? Put you in the trap. Great! You got him! Oh, hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right, uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. to ask of the both of you and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those grim will take him down. Uh, nope. Show me what you got! Let's go! 
Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here?
Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking. Is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. On your legs! Oh. Yeah. 
So tell me then, what's the new weapon? A spear. One with the powers of Grotnia. Interesting. Well, come on. We can discuss it on the train. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Hmm. So this drop near spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his. Nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ein Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Not the first time I've had an Aesir threaten my life. But? Thinking I'd like it to be the last.
Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? There's some reason you're expecting it to go sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. Let's make something, then. Need something special? And now for the goddess. You know what you want? What's the Witch of the Woods need? Big man? If it ain't Freya and her sidekick. 
We require improvements. Ready when you are. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Kratos. You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. 
My father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Fortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose 